It's quite late, <clears throat> so it's going to be a short video, but a um, question just came up on somebody else's, on VTT Tom's um, video on, on Dungeon Alchemist, saying, can you um, export and import into Foundry animated maps? And I thought, well, not yet. But then I just remembered that um, I did actually manage to do something very similar to Flowscape. Um, and that worked quite nicely. So the method should work directly for Dungeon Alchemist. So just very briefly showing this off. So I'm using just the, the basic software that I've got here, and I'm making the screens a bit smaller to make the whole process a bit faster, and the resolution and files a bit smaller. So I've got my, my Cyberlink screen recorder here, not the very best software, but it serves a purpose. So I've highlighted the window that I want to um, record, possibly as a map, so I'm trying to not have any of the menus in it. I'm sure there's a way of hiding the menu as well. But this will do, and I put some fires on here, um, just to make sure that we actually have something moving. So I'll record a very short clip, about two seconds or so. So as you can see, one, two. Um, and I probably should have done that with the voice off. But maybe I have. Press pause here. This will now put the file as Capture 3. Um, I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. So the Capture 3, if you open this up, you see that's a short video. And the files are flickering. Right, so I'm taking this file. I then go to one of the online converters, which puts um, an MP4. This is an MP4 into WebM. So you can see I've done that already here. It was quite small when it came out. But let's just put it in here. Sorry, upload. Cloud upload. Doom, doom, doom. No, should work if I just drop it on here. No, it doesn't. Ah, it worked earlier. So success, we converted. Let's try this from fresh. Um, convert again. Gosh, I need to get back. I don't want the result page. I want the or original. So this is a free website. You can basically do all sorts of stuff on a video converter. Select target format WebM. Will then take me to the drop. That's what I was looking for. Drop my file onto here. You can see it uploads quite quick. It's 241 megabyte before it's finished, before it's converted. I convert it, and you can fiddle about with the settings, but I'm leaving all that out just to make it really quick now. And as you can see, this only allows you three free converts. So I've got this um, capture. It's a bit small for you to see, but basically I've got the, the converted file here. I now take this into Foundry. Um, I can get rid of the screen recorder. Create a scene. I always like to make a scene, so let's call it WebM. Um, I'm going to select here the WebM from the file path. It should be on my desktop. Desktop. What do we call it? Capture 3 WebM. This one. Okay, so it uploads really swiftly here. Yeah? I choose this um, as my background. I will probably just get rid of our grids. So I don't like it. A grid on a map like this. Make my background black, as I always do. Save changes. Yeah. So my scene is now here. And there we go. I mean, the resolution is not great because I, I went the smallest file size. And if I actually look at that file size, you can see, however, it would work. It would look really, really stunning in, um, in Foundry. So definitely something to entertain. Let me just have a look at the file size of what we've just done here. So the original Capture 3 file was 2.4 meg. My converted one is, and that's why WebM is such a cool format for this, 475k. So you can probably, going into the settings here on this converter, get the, um, the res resolution a bit higher before you start hitting problems with map sizes. But it works. So if you think you really want to have a scene like a diorama scene or something like that, that you want to include in your foundry, it works. This is definitely a good way of doing it. Maybe not the best. I'm sure there are better ideas out there than what I'm, I've shown you, but it definitely works. Yeah. So I hope that's useful to you. I just was reminded of this tip by VTT Tom. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this, you know what to do. Thumbs, subscribe all that sort of stuff. See you next.